this is what you're gonna do if you are under quarantine so you can make some designs here you right here mm -hmm. you can do paint art but the most beautiful thing you can do is dress up you need a big closet and a lot of dresses but sure i i think they're gonna be so beautiful years too bye hey guys welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to update you guys again a little bit on this whole coronavirus thing kind of how we're seeing it over here from italy and uh just kind of how everything is going so um ignore the notes that i wrote on my hand but first of all if you want to keep up with the uh, quarantine stuff over here be sure to subscribe we have good news and bad news things were looking up for a while the city that's in italy that has that started with the coronavirus has zero cases now but also just yesterday or the day before italy had its highest count of deaths so we're now on day seven of quarantine and i think that it can only get better from here like it takes a week supposedly for the incubation of the coronavirus so it makes sense that the problem hasn't quite been solved yet but i still have hope and that's where the good news lies is that so does italy the rest of italy has been pulling together and kind of like spreading positivity they did a nationwide flash mob and like just people on the outside of their houses went outside at six o'clock the other night and like made music and danced around and it was i just thought that that was really interesting and really nice way to look at life <laughs> and also all of italy is, has this like phrase going on right now andra tutto bene which is pretty much saying everything is all right everything's gonna be okay um and the children since they're not in school a lot of them have been making big like posters that have rainbows on them that says andra tutto bene and they're hanging them outside their houses so a lot of houses here in italy have signs outside just letting everybody know that we're okay everything's gonna be okay yeah i just wanted to give a little intro on like what's going on but in the rest of this video you'll see um what we're doing in quarantine again kind of just some daily vlogs what more information on what we're learning things are changing left and right but um <laughs> the rules are confusing we got in trouble or sort of in trouble or like just talked to by the police yesterday so yeah you'll see all of that in this video if you just keep watching all right day four of quarantine and jordan is giving me a haircut <laughs> well it's really just a trim but um i mean i can't go out into town and get it done and also it's been like the whole time that i've been here i haven't gotten it trimmed and it's free to have a roomie do my hair for me. So yeah, just snipping off the ends. <laughs> Day five of quarantine. We found out today that a lady in San Gimignano has the coronavirus, which I don't know how she got it. Poor little lady, she's 72 years old. But after all this quarantine stuff, we thought that everything was gonna get better, but I mean, she's all by herself in her house, so we're not gonna get it from her, but we're wondering who gave it to her. Anyway, I also burnt my chickpeas to a crisp. Literally, there's no, no redemption here. Um, so I have to start over. Other than that, today we have just been watching YouTube videos and Netflix and we slept until, we probably were in bed until like 1.30. Like we didn't sleep that, or at least I didn't sleep that whole time, but I was in bed, good amount of it. So 
Anyway, that's my update for the day. Bye. Day six. Jordan and I are doing a little photo shoot. But since we're outside, we have to be sure to stay far apart from each other. I also have to have paperwork now to be out. I have it. And um, I have my big lens so that I can stand on the opposite side of the road from her and we can just do pictures that way. <laughs> so that was weird. Um, we just got like stopped by the police, which I mean, risking going outside, that's gonna happen. But they told us, I don't know, they took my paper and gave me a new one to fill out and they didn't tell me that I couldn't be outside. Like they, they said it was okay for me to be outside but not Jordan because she doesn't have a paper. So, um, I don't know, that was like a really weird situation. <laughs> and now what, like, I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know what the heck is going on. I feel weird, I feel lost. So it's my understanding that I can only go out if I'm going to work, I guess. So it's my own fault for getting, I guess, like talked to by the police. I didn't get in trouble or anything, but I'm honestly really confused about what the law actually is. So um, I'm just gonna not go out unless I'm going to work, I guess, so.